So guys, you ready to watch the WWE fight tonight? Yeah! Hell yeah, Bone Crusher's gonna fight Jeffrey the Giraffe. Wait, Jeffrey the Giraffe from Toys R Us? Yeah. Oh, Jeffrey's gonna get his ass beat, dude. Well, I'm gonna go for Jeffrey. Well, I want Bone Crusher to win. He always wins. Yeah, he crushes bones, dude. Well, let's turn it on so we can watch. Hello and welcome to the WWE Championship. Today, it's Bone Crusher versus Jeffrey the Giraffe. Come on, Jeffrey. Let's go, Bone Crusher! Crush the bones! The winner gets this championship belt! Let the fight begin! Come here, Jeffrey! Oh, he's got the stool! Oh, that's gotta hurt! Ouch! Oh, Bone Crusher's not playing today. He's trying to crush his skull with a stool! I got something special for you, Jeffrey! Are you ready for the bone crushing? Bone crushers opened up a can of whoop ass. Help! Help! Where you think you're help, going? Help, Come back here. Help. Where you going? Time for the dragon, bro. Oh, I think he's done. One, two, three, it's over. Bone Crusher's the champion. I told you I could go it. I told you I would win. Bone Crusher win, yay! I told you Bone Crusher was gonna beat Jeffrey. Oh, poor Jeffrey. This is not fair. Bone Crusher's too good. He's undefeated. Well, I could beat him. No, you couldn't. Yes. Why could it be easy? Well, there's no way they'll ever let some stupid kid versus Bone Crusher. Yeah. What? Hey, kids, have you ever wanted to fight Bone Crusher? I sure wouldn't. Well, we're having a charity event with the Mana Food Bank, and whoever can donate the most cans of food gets a can of whoop ass in the ring with Bone Crusher. Damn right. So donate as many cans of food as you can today. Oh my god, Jeffy, look! There's a chance you can fight Bone Crusher! All you have to do is donate a bunch of cans of food. But I don't have a bunch of cans of food. All right, Jeffy, it's time for dinner. Come on. Oh, all right, guys. I gotta go eat dinner. I'll be back. Okay, Jeffy, here's your dinner. Green beans. I'm so grateful. And we went to the store and bought you a month's supply of food. Jeez, you really shouldn't have. You know I don't like green beans, so I don't know why you even do it. At this point, it's child abuse. Yeah, Marvin, why do you keep giving him green beans? Because they're good for him. False! This sodium in here is 380 milligrams, which is enough to put me in cardiac arrest before my 21st birthday. Jeffy, just shut up and eat them. Come on, baby, let's go. You only buy these so they end up on the floor. So let's start with that. Wow, that is a lot of cans of food. I could turn those in and fight Bone Crusher. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, check out all these cans of food. Wow, Jeffy, that's so many green beans. I bet if you donated all those green beans, they'd let you fight Bone Crusher. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And lose. I'm not gonna lose. I think you guys are underestimating my R strength. Well, wait, how do we donate those cans? Like, where do we go? Well, I'll just call up the WWE Association and tell them to come get their beans. Hey there, I'm Steve Staleberger. I represent the WWE. Why'd you call me? Because I wanted to turn in all these cans of green beans to fight Bone Crusher. Holy moly, that's a lot of cans. You win. You get to fight Bone Crusher. Wait, he wins? No one else donated cans? No, nobody else donated cans because they don't want to fight Bone Crusher. They don't want to die. Well, I'm going to win. Okay, whatever you say, kid, as long as you sign all the waivers. Now, I'm going to collect all these cans. Just hold on. Let me go pop my trunk. Wow, Jeffy, you get to fight Bone Crusher. Are you nervous? No, because I know I'm going to win. Oh, ma make room. He has to get the cans. So what's your wrestling name going to be? My what? Your wrestling name. You need a scary wrestling name like Bone Crusher. He has a scary name. Yeah. Um, mine could be Poopy Diaper. Well, that's not very intimidating. Well, it is when there's a grumpy in my diaper. Dude, it has to be something cool. Yeah, something scary. Yeah, like heart disease. That's not scary, Cody. Well, it's the number one cause of death in America. Well, how about something like the big bad wolf? And you dress up like a wolf, and then you can say, I'm gonna huff, and I'm gonna puff, and I'm gonna beat your ass. Ooh, that's yeah, fire, dude. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, Jeffy, so go dress up like a wolf, and then go fight him. I, I promise you, you'll be scary. All right. 
Hello and welcome to another WWE World Championship. Tonight, Bone Crusher has decided to donate his belt to whoever wins. So in this corner, we have Bone Crusher. Your bones are gonna get crushed today. And in this corner, the Big Bad Wolf. I'm gonna huff and puff and knock your ass out. Okay, let the fight begin. You ready to die, kid? I'm gonna kick your ass! Get off me! You know who I am? I'm Bone! Ugh. Okay, that's it! No more going easy on you! Alright, you ready? Oh, Jeffy used the stool! Okay, that kid's gonna die! Okay! Oh, bonked him with the claw hammer. I don't know if that's legal, folks. All right, he's going to die. Screw this. Uh, ah! Hey, kid, stop. You know this is off a show, right? It's wrestling. It's fake. You're going a little too hard. You're actually starting to hurt me. You're not going to trick me, Bone Crusher. No, no kid, stop. No. chair. This might be over early, folks. Uh, hey man, do you want me to stop this? Because he's kicking your ass. Yes! Oh. <laughs> oh, from the top of the ropes! That's gotta hurt! Listen, kid, just pick up my leg and tap me out. It's over, you win. And you kick me in your face? I'm not falling for that, bum crusher! Where's he going? Someone tell me where he's going! Where's he going? Oh. My. God. Dear Lord, he has the ladder. Are you ready to die, fucker? No, please! Please don't do it, no! No, no! Oh. One, two, three! He's dead! The Big Bad Wolf wins! The winner by murder, the Big Bad Wolf! Yeah, I told those three little pigs that I would win! Wow, Jeffy wasn't lying. He really kicked Bone Crusher's ass. Like, he killed him. Hey guys, check out my new belt! I got that W! Jeffy, why'd you go so hard? You killed the guy. Well, he was asking for it! You do know wrestling's fake, right? Oh, I didn't know that. But then he Breaking news, okay? Bone Crusher, a famous wrestler, has died. His funeral will be held tonight for anyone who wants to attend. Oh, wow, he's actually dead. I thought maybe he was faking it. No, I felt his neck snap. Oh man, now my favorite wrestler's dead. Oh, R.P. Bone Crusher. Wow, Jeffy, good going. You killed Joseph's favorite wrestler. Well, I didn't mean to. We should go to his funeral. Yeah, let's go to Bone Crusher's funeral. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to mourn the loss of our beloved Bone Crusher, whose bones were ironically crushed in his last wrestling match. Would anyone like to say anything before we bury him six feet under? <laughs> There's something I want to say. There is one thing I would like to say about Bone Crusher. I don't believe he's dead! Oh, 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 oh dear God! The horror! The horror! Oh my God! Jesus, dude, stop! Jeffy, stop it! Oh God! Morphin, Jeffy ate all his green beans! He really did? Yes, he ate every can! Every can? Jeffy wouldn't eat that much! Jeffy, get in here! Hey there, your son's under arrest. For what? Well, he killed the guy and then beat up the guy's corpse at the funeral. Jeffy, why would you do that? Oh, he actually committed a whole alphabet list of crimes. Here, I'll name them off for you. A is for aggravated assault. B is for beating a corpse. C is for choking a corpse. D is for defiling the dead. E is for extortion because he called the guy's parents afterward and then asked for money or else he'd kill them. F is for felonious activity because I'm pretty sure what he did is a felony. G is for grave robbing. H is for hate crime because Bone Crusher had a little bit of black on him, but he's also a skeleton, so I don't really know how that works. I is for ignoring the law. J is for jaywalking because when I tried to arrest him, he crossed the street, but he didn't use a crosswalk. K is for killing. 
L is for larceny, and I don't know what that means, but it sounds bad. M is for murder. N is for neglect. O is for, oh my God, how could you do that to a corpse? P is for personal injury. Q is for quite ridiculous what he did. R is for resisting arrest. S is for strangulation. T is for threatening, because he threatened me when I tried to arrest him. U is for under the influence, because he must be, because why else would he do that? V is for violence. W is for why would anyone do that? X is for xylophone, because he played the guy's ribs like a xylophone. Y is for why would you do that? Again, why would anyone do that? And Z is for zebra stripes, because he's going to be wearing black and white stripes when he's in jail. Jimmy, why would you do all those things? Because I got this shiny belt for beating up Bone Crusher. Oh, is that real? Yep. I've always wanted a WWE belt. Hmm. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll, I will drop all these charges if you give me that belt. But I won this fair and square. You should have given the damn belt. Okay. Oh, this is going to be so cool. I'm going to be like a wrestler. Here, take it. Oh, sweet. Jeffy, I cannot believe you did all that, but I, I, you got really lucky that he wanted your stupid belt. Now, I have one more question. Did you really eat all your green beans? Did you check the floor? So, guys, what do you want to do today? Oh, uh, dude, we should play Truth or Dare. <gasps> That'd be so fun. All right, Cody, Truth or Dare. But why do I have to go first? Truth or Dare. <sighs> Fine, Dare. I dare you to call your parents and say you died. <laughs> Dude, that'd be so hilarious. Wait, you want me to call my parents and tell them that I died? Yeah. They're gonna know it's me when they hear my voice. Can't you do like a cop impression? Yeah, kind of. Oh, it's gonna be so funny. No, dude, I can't wait for it. Okay, it's ringing. Hello, Cody? Uh, uh no, ma'am, it's not Cody, it's the police. Uh, we found your son's phone in the road because he got hit by an 18-wheeler. <laughs> oh my god, all 18 wheels? Uh, yes, ma'am, even the spare tire fell off and hit him. <laughs> Is he dead? Uh, I'm afraid so, ma'am. Yeah, he was he was flattened like a pancake. <laughs> oh, thank God. What? Hey, Tyrone, Cody's dead. We're finally free. What? Cody's dead? Oh, thank the Lord Jesus. Our son is dead. Uh, I mean, boo-hoo, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. We can finally go on that cruise. Yeah, baby. You're going to get all the cream pies you want. We're going to make another one. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you for telling us the good news, officer. So were they sad? Yeah. Yeah, they, they were very sad, and they were crying, and it was very clear how much they loved me. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. They, they cried over you dying. <laughs> Who would <laughs> I imagine? Right. All right, someone ask me. Someone ask me, truth or dare? Uh, truth or dare? Dare. Uh, okay, I dare you to go throw all of Chef Pee-Pee's food on the ground. Ooh. Oh, yeah, actually, I don't do that every night. Yeah, true. Mm-mm. My burnt turkey club sandwich is almost done. Mm, I can smell the flavors. Wait, Julia, what the hell you doing? Oh, Julia, what the hell? This is my dinner. Oh, I hate you. Oh, my burnt turkey club sandwich. <laughs> All right, Cody, I did it. And Chef Pee Pee got really mad. <laughs> That's funny. All right, Joseph, truth or dare? Uh, truth. You don't want to do dare? No, dude, I choose truth. You're such a wuss. Um, have you ever killed anyone? On accident or purpose? Uh, on purpose? <laughs> yeah. What happened? Uh, 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 you only get one question, dude. I don't think I want to know anymore. All right, Jeffy, truth or dare? Dare. Ooh, dude, I dare you to crash a car into a tree. What, Joseph, no, you're not supposed to hurt anyone. Dude, I'll do it. What, no, no Jeffy. See? see, he has a helmet on. It's safe. Right, he's not going to do that. And, and he also is the only one of us that has a car. No, this is a bad idea, guys. I'm going to do it, and I'll show you. What? No! He's doing it! He's actually doing it! He's gonna be the truth or dare champion! The truth or dare god! Jesse, I really wouldn't do this. And lose your dare? Mom ain't raised no bitch! Your mom didn't raise you at all! Exactly! <laughs> oh. All right, mate, there's one donut left. Hmm, I guess we could play rock, paper, scissors for it. Well, that won't work, because our hands can only do paper. Yeah, you're right. Paper, paper, paper wouldn't really work. Um, how about we play I Spy, and whoever can guess what the other person's looking at gets the donut. All right, I'll go first. I spy something green. Is it the grass? Damn it! Uh, okay, uh, I spy something, hmm. I spy something yellow going very fast. Is it the sun? Well, no, Simmons, the sun doesn't move. Well, it kind of does because we orbit it. Well, no, but we're going around the sun. We're moving. The sun's not moving. Well, what if it's from what we see? Like, you know how the sun goes up and down? No, no Simmons, I already said it's not the sun. It, it was that car that just drove by very, very fast. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, so you lose and I get the donut with the rainbow jimmies. Now, we're still going to pull that guy over, I'm just gonna eat the donut while I'm driving. Dispatch, we have a car that's not pulling over. I repeat, he's not pulling over, and this donut is delicious. Hmm, what train should I run into? Dispatch, he's going off-road! How about that tree? That's the one! Yeah! Holy 
Holy shit! Uh, dispatch, he just crashed into a tree. Stand by. We might need an ambulance. Let's go check on him, Simmons. Uh, sir? Are you okay? I won truth or dare. I wonder if Jeffy crashed that car. Hey, hey, kids, get off our couch. Get out of here, you bunch of goobers. Marvin, you could have said please. No, this is our couch. We sit here. Hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you rubbing your ass on the couch. Uh, the cops? What are you doing here? Oh, uh, well, your son Jeffy crashed his car into a tree. What? Is he okay? He's hurt. Oh, my God! How's the car? Marvin! No, no, seriously, how's the car? Like, is it okay? Oh, it's total. What? Are you sure? Yeah, come look. Oh, no. Does this look total to you? What, Jeffy did this? Yep. Oh, I am so sorry, officer. Hey, that my creek. Look what he did in my creek. What? This is the mayor, Tuna Fish Terry. He's mad because your son crashed his car into this tree. Yeah, me and my high school, we are. We kids don't need the tree. Yeah, he says he kissed his high school sweetheart under this tree, so he's mad that your son crashed his car into it. Also, I think your son might have started a forest fire a while back that burned this tree, so yeah, he is suing you. What, suing? Yeah, goddamn right. I'm gonna the out. You can get more tooth bit. What? Yeah, he's suing you. Okay. <laughs> Marvin, is Jeffy okay? The car's total. But what about Jeffy? He's right here. I put my doctor outfit on because we're gonna be talking about doctor stuff. Jeffy, are you all right? Well, my neck is broken. Yeah, he has a hairline fracture in his cervical vertebrae. Is he in a lot of pain? Oh, this right here is like a six out of ten. See, this one time I had testicular torsion where my nuts get all tangled up and twisted around. That was a ten out of ten. And believe me, I'm a doctor. I know. I know how to read that little smiley face chart. So is everything gonna be okay? Oh, it's okay now. Yeah, they did a surgery and get it untangled. It's kind of like when you put your headphones in your pocket and they come out all tangled, except it's my balls. Not with you, with Jeffy! Oh yeah, he's fine. He's got a neck brace on. My balls do still hurt sometimes, though. Well, as long as everything's okay with Jeffy. Well, he is getting sued by the mayor for hitting the mayor's favorite tree with his car. Oh, is the tree all right? Oh, I mean, nothing happened to the tree. It was the berries that got a little tangled up on the vine, but the tree's fine. I, I mean, it does have a slight natural curve, but I looked it up and apparently that's normal. And sometimes it's even more pleasurable for the woman. Oh, you guys aren't talking about my dick. You're talking about the tree that he hit. No, I don't know. I'm not a botanist, man. Don't they study robots? Uh, yeah, look, okay, Jeffy has court today, so I gotta get ready because I'm actually the lawyer he's going up against in the trial, so I have a lot of paperwork to do, and I have to change clothes for the third time today. Oh, Jeffy, now we have to get you a lawyer because you have to go to court. We can't even afford a lawyer. Just go to court. Just go do it. I don't care. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Soy el honorable juez bube. Wait, no, sorry, that was in Spanish. I just had a Spanish language case before this one, and I haven't adjusted yet. I'll start over. Order, order, order! I am the Honorable Judge Pooh Bear, and today we will be hearing the case of Jeffy versus Tuna Fish Terry's tree. Now, Tuna Fish Terry, tell me what happened. I did think on my back for eating toothpick, all of a sudden, damn car come around the corner, hit my tree, I was like, shit, yeah, made me almost spill a toothpick. I don't. Um, I, I didn't understand anything he just said. I, I speak Spanish, but I don't speak whatever the hell that was. Can we get an interpreter, please? I'll translate for you, Judge. Uh, my client was trying to say that he was sitting on his back porch eating tuna fish when he saw a car come around the corner and hit his tree, and he was so startled he almost spilled his tuna fish. I, I was actually a cop pursuing that vehicle, so I can confirm all of that is true. Oh, I see. Now, D Jeffy, why did you crash your car in the tuna fish terry's tree? My friends and I were playing truth or dare, and one of my friends dared me to crash my car into a tree. So I ain't no bitch, so I did it. Ow! Jesus. What were you saying? I'm sorry. I was playing truth or dare with my three friends, and one of them dared me to crash my car into a tree. Oh, it was a dare for truth or dare. I see. Well, who dared you to crash your car into that tree? Because it's their fault. I mean, obviously you're going to do the dare. You're not a bitch. So who dared you to do it? It was one of my friends. I can't remember which one did it. I see. Go grab his friends. If they're not here, go grab them. It's a court order. Just tell them that and then bring them here. Uh, what's going on? Am I in trouble? I see. Saying nothing, dude. You three boys were playing a game of truth or dare, and one of you dared Jeffy to crash his car into a tree. So who was it? Who was it? God damn it, tell me! Look, guys, if we don't tell them anything, they won't know. It was you Joseph! Damn. Look, y'all, y'all are snitches! Aha, uh -huh. so you were the dare of the dare. And the rules of truth or dare clearly state that the dare of the dare shall not be spared, but the doer of the dare shall be spared of any bodily harm or property damage they may have incurred as a result of doing a dare. What I'm trying to say is, Jeffy is cleared from this case. But you, Joseph, you knew Jeffy was going to do the dare when you dared him to do the dare, so this is your 
your fault and Tuna Fish Terror should be suing you. I order you to pay Tuna Fish Terror for the damage to his tree, which is whatever he says it is. It's a, it's a tree. I don't know. It's sentimental. What? I don't have any money to pay for that. Judge, I didn't do it. I don't want to hear it. This case is closed. Boom. Now, if you'll excuse me, I will drink my orange high C. Come to me, high C. Mm. Mm. Mm, that is delicious, and very high in sea. If I were a pirate, I could sail the high seas. <laughs> and I wouldn't even get scurvy because it's very high in vitamin C. Case dismissed. Oh, I hate you guys! Well, he did make the dare. Yeah. Oh, I hate you guys! I don't want to be around you! Leave! But this is my house, Joseph. Well, go into another room then! But this is my house, Joseph. Oh, shut up! Well, you did dare Jeffy to crash his car. That doesn't mean you have to snitch on me then! But you did dare Jeffy, so it was your fault. Duh! That doesn't mean you have to tell! <sighs> Whatever, Joseph. Look, we're still playing truth or dare, so I dare you not to be mad. <laughs> Well, how much did Tuna Fish Terry want for his tree, anyway? He wanted a hundred dollars, and I don't have that type of money. A hundred dollars? Yeah. Well, I have that watch in my wallet. Well, give it to me! Well, no, it's my hundred dollars. Well, you don't need it. Well, I, I want it. I'm gonna buy a new tea party set. Hey, Cody, I dare you to give Joseph that hundred dollars. No, it's not worth it. I double-dog dare you to give Joseph that hundred dollars. No, I don't care. I triple-dog dare you to give Joseph that hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait to watch the Miami Heat win tonight. Go Heat! But, Boyne, aren't they down three to one? Well, yes, but that's because Jimmy Butler wants a challenge. You see, because the only team to come back from a 3-1 to -one deficit was LeBron James, and Jimmy Butler wants to outdo him. But, Boyney, what would happen if they were to lose? They're not going to lose, Karen. You know why? Because you can't spell heat without eat, which is what Jimmy Butler's going to do to those nuggets, just like I'm going to do to these nuggets. I'm going to eat them up. Nom, 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 nom. Those nuggets suck. Well, not these nuggets. These nuggets are delicious. I mean, the Denver nuggets suck. Hey, Karen, guess what? It's Grimace's birthday today. What? You know, Grimace, Ronald McDonald's friend, today's his birthday. Oh! Yeah, it's his birthday, and you know what he wanted for his birthday? For the heat to win! I don't believe you, Boyney. I think you're lying. No, no, I'm not lying, because me and Grimace are friends. We talk all the time. As a matter of fact, that's why he gave me his birthday shake. Oh, I want one! No, because you doubted the heat. Because we are going to win tonight because of Jimmy Buckets. He's going to make us win. He's going to beat those nuggets. Watch, he's going to eat them up. Nom, 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 nom. Hey, Boyney, who won your game? <gasps> why are you so sad, Boyney? Aw, you didn't finish your chicken nuggets? Did they hurt your belly? Well, who won your basketball game, Boyney? The nuggets. <gasps> oh my god, the Heat lost? Is that why you're sad? No, Karen. If we had lost together as a team, I wouldn't be sad. I'd say, well, we tried. No, Karen, I'm sad because Jimmy Butler decided to choke the biggest, fattest, girthiest, veiniest dick. Oh, he did, Karen. He did it right there out in the court in front of God and everybody. They even caught it on video. You want to see? I warn you, it's pretty graphic, so shield your eyes. There's Jimmy Butler. We're down by one. He's right under the goal. We just need a two-pointer. And then all of a sudden he goes, here you go, other team. You take the ball. Maybe you'll know what to do with it. I just want to start choking on giant throbbing. Boy, hey! Well, he did, Karen. You saw it. Boy, hey, that one play didn't cost them the whole game. No, you're right, Karen. It wasn't just that one play. It was also this one. See? We're down by three. We just need a three to tie it. I don't know why the fuck they put the ball in Jimmy's hands. He's been sucking all night. And then Jimmy says, maybe if I throw the ball as fast as I can in the general direction of the goal while I'm covered and there's somebody right in my face, I can get back to sucking throbbing, veiny, giant- Bonnie, cut it out! Well, Karen, you saw the footage! Bonnie, they always have next year! No, they don't, Karen. We weren't even supposed to be here this year. We just got lucky. But what about Himothy? Him! Himmy! Himothy cost us the game! Himmy! Should have just stayed his ass on the bench. We were doing better without him. Boyney, you don't mean that. You love him. Loved. Past tense. I hate him now. But, Boyney, what about the back of your joy? You say you want to marry him. Yeah, well, now I want a divorce. <gasps> well, what did I do? From him, Karen. Boyney, I think you just need to go lie down. Yeah, I'm going to go lie down on the railroad tracks in front of a train so I get run over. Boy I'm gonna go take a shower, because I've been wearing this garbage bag all night, and I probably smell like shit, because Jimmy was playing like uh, shit. Are you fucking kidding me, Jimmy? Boyney, you're gonna have to turn the water on if you're gonna take a shower. No, I don't. My tears will be the water. Boyney, it's just a game! No, oh, that wasn't even a game. That was just hand the ball to the Denver Nuggets so they can score and win and get their rings while Jimmy claps for them and hands them their trophy, and don't forget he sucked them all off. Boyney, don't stop that again, and take your jersey off. It's gonna get wet.
I can't take it off. It's melted to my body from the heat of that giant steaming shit pile that Jimmy left out on the court. You know, I didn't even know he was that backed up. It's probably from all the coffee. What? Have I told you about the coffee yet? No, Bonnie! You're talking nonsense! Either get, take a shower or get out! Okay. Hey, Boiny, I know it'll make you feel better. Do you want to fool around? I'm gonna explain the coffee thing. So Jimmy has his own coffee company called Big Face Coffee, and he wants to be the biggest coffee brand in the world. Well, that's not gonna beat Starbucks, Boiny. I love them. Yeah, maybe he should focus on playing basketball. You know, because he's a basketball player. Maybe if you win a goddamn championship, people will want to drink your coffee, Jimmy. Imagine this. Imagine saying, hmm, I'm drinking NBA champion Jimmy Butler's coffee. Doesn't that sound better than I'm drinking NBA loser Jimmy Butler's coffee? You can't even beat nuggets, Jimmy. How you you expect to beat frappuccinos. Pumpkin spice? Pumpkin spice with sweet bus. Okay, Boiny, calm down. Let's just get some sleep. God damn it, Jimmy. Get your priorities straight. Boiny! No, no, I'm just trying to do the math. Do the math here with me, Karen. Let me figure this out. I don't want to do the math, Boiny. No, 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 we're gonna figure this out. Tell me why on game day he would decide to play cards with his friends while drinking coffee instead of going down to the court at five o'clock in the morning and shooting some hoops. You know, that's Kobe shit, but not Jimmy Butler. No, he wants to drink as much coffee as he can so he can have big IBS shits during the game. Boiny, if you're not going to bed, leave the room because I'm tired. You know who's not tired? Jimmy Butler, because he's been drinking coffee all day and he didn't use up that energy on the court. So, hmm, I wonder where all that energy's going. Oh, I. I know. I bet he's gonna use all that energy to suck big, fat, girthy. Good night, Boiny. <sighs> Didn't try. What the fuck was that? I could do that. Pay me a hundred million dollars to throw a ball at a hoop and just hope and drink coffee and play cards with my buddies. Hey, Dad. Oh no! Don't look, Penelope. You're not old enough. Daddy's watching an adult movie. No, you're not. You're just watching basketball. No, I'm watching naughty coffee barista takes on burly five-man basketball team. What are you? talking about? Oh, you don't see what that grown man is doing to all the men on that other team? Um, missing a bunch of basketball shots? Oh yeah, he's doing a lot of that, but where is his mouth? What? Well, you see, Penelope, when two basketball players love each other very much, they suck each other off, and Jimmy must love the Nuggets because he's the only one sucking. Ew, Dad! <sighs> Go get me my lighter. What? Go get me my goddamn lighter and a pen and some lighter fluid. Why? Just go get it. Okay. Here, Dad, why did you want all this stuff? I'm burning my jersey. Don't you think you're taking this basketball game a little too seriously? Hey, well, at least somebody's taking it seriously, because Jimmy sure didn't. He thought that was practice. He thinks the game's tomorrow. Is it? No, it was tonight, and they lost because Jimmy thought it was opposite day. He thought the team with the least points won. He thought he was playing golf. Oh, so he lost? Penelope, get the hell out of here. You're starting to piss me off. Fine. <sighs> I loved this jersey. But Jimmy doesn't love basketball. No, he loves coffee. So this is what happens to this jersey. Make sure I put a lot of this on here. I want it to burn nice and good. <sighs> Goodbye, Jimmy. some heat showed up today. That's not funny, Boiny. You could have burned the house down. I didn't say it was funny. None of this is funny. Cut the crap, Boiny, and take your sad eyes off. Oh, I'm afraid the sad eyes are going to stay. For how long? For a very long time, until Jimmy Butler wins a championship. Boiny, that might never happen. Oh, it won't. Believe me, I know it won't. Boiny, why don't you become like a Brooklyn Nets fan, you know, because of your name, Brooklyn T Guy? Wait, you know my name? Then why do you always call me Boiny? I thought you didn't know my name. I don't call you Boiny, Boiny. I call you Boiny. Why don't you call me Brooklyn? Because that's my name. But I like calling you Boiny. It's a thing. Okay, well, I'm not going to be a Brooklyn Nets fan. Who am I going to root for? Seth Curry, the lesser of the Currys, the underachieving one? He's the brother of Steph Curry, and I guess if you say his name fast enough, it sounds like that. I think you got that wrong, Boiny. Stephanie's a girl's name. Well, look, I'm not going to be a Brooklyn Nets fan. Well, Boiny, why don't you go back to work? Get your mind off things. Yeah, there's an idea. Everybody should do what they're paid to do, because it's their job, and not just throw it all away so that they can make coffee. Have you even tried this coffee, Boiny? I don't know where the fuck to buy it. Miami? Oh, that would make sense. Well, maybe if he won a championship, people would know where to buy his coffee. But yes, you're right. Maybe I'll try to go to work. Boyney, put your clothes on!
Hey, nurse, what do you got for me? Chester Cheetah overdose on Cheeto dust again. Oh, man, Chester. I think we should give him some Narcan and try to resuscitate him. Yeah, that sounds cool. Hey, could you check out this coffee I made in the break room? Doctor, I think we should focus on the patient. Yeah, you would think that we should probably do that because that's our jobs and that's what we get paid to do, but I want to try to start a coffee company. Doctor, I think we're losing him. Just try it real quick. Come on, take a uh, It smells like a crappy cup of coffee. Do you think I could beat Starbucks? Doctor, I think we lost him. Oh. Well, never mind, then. How was your day at work, Boiny? Well, I did a better job than Jimmy. I only killed one person. He killed the hearts of every Miami Heat fan. You killed someone today, Boiny? Yeah, I tried the Jimmy method. I got to work and then started my own coffee company. What does that have to do with killing someone? What does it have to do with basketball? Aren't they supposed to drink Gatorade or some shit? You know, coffee's a diuretic. He was probably dehydrated as fuck. I've never seen after the Super Bowl people run up and dump a bunch of coffee on their coach and give them third-degree burns. Boiny, leave! Jimmy Butler alone. Oh, okay. I mean it, Boiny. What do you think he's doing right now? Not pouting like you. Yeah, of course not. He got paid a hundred million dollars just to drink coffee and give the ball to the other team. What? I'll get it. Are you gonna go get it, Boiny? Yeah. Go! Oh, I'm sorry. I was giving a Jimmy amount of effort. Ugh. Hello? Hello there. What did you, did you, did you, Jimmy Butler? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in all the Denver Nuggets houses blowing them? Well, I came by to explain myself. Oh, good, because I was really wondering why the hell you played like dog shit tonight. Well, you see, the Denver Nuggets have never won a championship before. But see, the Miami Heat, we've won three. So I felt bad and I let them win. Well, that does explain why you passed the ball directly to the other team when we were only down by one. Yeah, I tried to hide that the best I could, but whoops. Whoops, yeah, yeah, whoops. Well, I mean, I guess I understand why you let him win, but did you really have to suck him off, too? Well, listen, see, I'll try harder next season, and I'll win it all. Okay, well, that is good to know. Yeah, you want to buy some coffee? I would not, but I actually really recommend that you take this and drink this instead on game day. Well, no thank you. I like my coffee. Please, please take this. No, the coffee's good for me. No, I'm literally begging you, Jimmy. No, you hold on to that for me. Maybe practice next time? No, I'll see you next season. Okay, Jimmy, uh, he didn't take it. Mm. Who was at the door, Boiny? Oh, nobody. Just a coffee salesman. At this time of night? Yeah. Was it 